People are showing up, and it is now 2 o'clock, so we're going to get started. Uh, new folks coming into the room, you are showing up muted, and uh, you need to stay muted if you're not one of the performers, uh, so that you're not stepping on their audio. Hello, and welcome to Twas the Zoom Before Christmas, a holiday gift to ourselves and each other. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank you all for performing, for coming to watch and for just being the awesome people that I met through the New York Renaissance Fair and assorted comings and goings beyond that. I love you all. I'm happy to see you here. I hope your holidays will be fun, festive, and healthy. And we're gonna get started. First up on our agenda, turning off the chat so I can see my other windows. Huh. Okay, first up on the agenda, we're going to start, since nobody could be part of the uh, Macy's Parade this year, we're going to show a little clip of Christopher Sirigar in his appearance in last year's Macy's Day Parade. You'll have to act quickly if you want to see him, but Maya will point him out to you later and, you know, make the video available to anybody and everybody who wants it or not. Here we go. What a sight. Welcome back to the home stretch of today's parade. This truckload of super-sized Christmas gifts can only mean one thing. A certain gentleman with a white beard is right around the corner and he's headed our way. So guys, time to gather the children, pull them all together, because Santa Claus is coming to town. He is from the New York metropolitan area. We've assembled a group of 98 young tap dancers known as the nice list, they spread the spirit of the holidays by performing to be a Santa. That was Christopher Sirgar and pals. And next up on our agenda, it's Cat and Alex. Hi, Rob. Hi, everybody. Um, sorry I couldn't actually be there, but thank you for letting me join the party this way. Um, I, I, this is the, the world premiere of a song that I just wrote. Um, this is my contribution to the holiday. Um, um, it, well, I'm just going to launch in. It, it, this may be a little rough because I have not played this for anybody <laughs> at all. So, mm, so there, there may be cursing in the middle of it if I screw up. Um, a little bit of, um, at, at the moment, the working title of this song is called Unexplained Judaism, A Cautionary Tale. Make of that what you will. <clears throat> okay. A rich cultural history, that's my heritage. Well, full disclosure, in my house practice wasn't all the rage. But still, enough would trickle down and reach my youthful ear. Unfortunately, what these things meant was never made quite clear. I'll give you an example. Back when I was small, we had to book a plumber 
to make a house call. My mom, I guess, anticipated how the bill would go. Spent the day saying to no one, when's the Ghanif going to show? Ghanif, in, for those of you who don't know, is Yiddish for thief. Young me did not have this information. Thief. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know the word, and so that I would not look dumber. I figured Ghanif simply was another word for plumber. The guy showed up, I reached the door, invited him inside, and helpful, loud and proud, Mom, the Ghanif's here, I cried. This is a true story. <laughs> I think he chose to take it not as on-the-job harassment. And mom, she didn't blame me later on for her embarrassment. A simple way for her to skip unnecessary stressing would have been to have included a little vocabulary lesson, don't you think? Parents, your children are paying attention. Eat and listening even if you don't think they are. Teach them your customs, traditions, and history. They'll grow and be grateful, and they will go far. But trust when I tell you we need explanations, and possibly origin stories as well. Otherwise, customs accidentally bring comedy, along with traditional tales you tell. I get it if you simplify your Seder, that's all right. An English ritual makes for an abbreviated night. And when it comes to treats, the children have to go and find. Change the afikomen to afikandy. That's what we did. I'm sure the kids won't mind. Speaking of Passover, when I was very young, we'd celebrate with my cousins, food was eaten, songs were sung, and then they'd pour that glass of wine, I'm sure you know this bit, and say, it's for Elijah, but further details they'd omit. Later in the evening, I would find it rather odd that around the wine glass would be sniffing no one but their weird cat. He liked Manischewitz grape juice, I Yes, since no one had said otherwise, I thought that it was caring. The humans choosing with their pets the wine they should be sharing. Although it did strike me as strange not keeping with the game, since I was pretty sure Elijah wasn't the cat's name. Imagine my surprise in later years to be discovering that Jews all over the world would put out wine for the cat of my cousin. <laughs> Parents, your kiddos are listening closely, oftentimes way more than we let on. Look at it this way, we'll all have some humor and stories to share when we're grown up and done. But trauma is often result of traditions that while observed often are left unexplained. If you provide meaning along with mythology, then trust me, you'll be doubly entertained. Trust me, you'll be doubly entertained. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Everything in that is true, and I think counts for like at least a year of therapy right there. All they had to do was explain the whole Elijah thing for me. I, I, I really I thought it was the cat. Anyway, come here, guest performer. <laughs> um, <laughs> and 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 um, yeah, I didn't write this um, at all. Um, so and 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 probably we'll sing it a lot better. We'll just do the one more and then we'll and then we'll go away. Okay. Pour the wine and raise a cup. Drink up, brothers, you know how. And spill a drop for Orpheus wherever he is now. 
Some birds sing when the sun shines bright. Our praise is not for them, but the ones who sing in the dead of night. We raise our cups to them. Wherever he is wandering, alone upon the earth, let all our singing follow him and bring him comfort. Some flowers bloom where the green grass grows. Our praise is not for them, but the ones who bloom in the bitter snow. We raise our cups to them. We raise our cups and drink them up. We raise them high and drink them dry to Orpheus and all of us. Good night, brothers. Good night. Bye, Rob. Bye, everybody. Happy holidays. Thank you to Kat and Alex. Welcome to the people that have just showed up since we started that last video. Hello, hello. Um, you're coming in muted, and we need you to stay muted while people are performing. Um, eventually, we'll get the problem with the breakout room set up so that we can hang out and visit. But for now, we're going to continue on with the schedule. And next up on our list is our favorite fiddler, violinist, Joanna Farr. She's here from, I think she's coming from Vermont. Joanna, is that true? Yes. Yes. You Hi. can actually, you can see some of the snow, I think, behind me. Okay. I'm going to um, pin you so, yeah, so that everybody uh... can see you nice and big. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Um, yeah. So I'm up in Vermont. Um, we moved up here this summer. It's been a, it's been a crazy time. Obviously, unfortunately, the symphony was not performing due to COVID. So we've had a lot of time to be up here, which is really nice. Um, and it's been good. And I'm gonna have an album coming out, which we are having actual time to finish, which is wonderful. So that's gonna be like two months, I think. It's very, very close. We're getting a couple of other people like Shannon Heaton to add and, and stuff like that. And other than that, we're ready to go, which is beautiful. Well, so I'm gonna play. Keep your Facebook family in the loop as far as the release goes, would you please? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the reason why is that we were supposed to have all these release concerts and stuff like that, and, and Jeff and Erica were going to be playing on it and stuff like that, and then, of course, COVID happened, so the re release concerts got canceled. So we are we are putting together new dates when things are possible, and that's going to be good. But the album's going to come out before we actually do the release concerts. So. Yeah, Joanna, en engineering an entire virus just so you didn't have to perform with me was a bit wow. much. <laughs> wow. Well, don't give me that much power. I'd, I'd use it for a lot better purposes. <laughs> What have you got for us today, Joanna? Uh, oh, wait, somebody's saying they don't have the sound. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to play two things, uh, two quick things, one classical, one fiddle, just because that's what I do. So I'm going to play Salut d'Amour by Elgar first. And then after that, I'll play a set of tunes um, that's going to be on the album. So I'll start with, with some Elgar. Oh, I realized I need to turn on original sound. Haha, -ha, I've learned things about this Zoom. Thing. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> much, much better. There we go. It wouldn't be a Ren Faire performance without a take two. Exactly.
because that's one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> um, so now I will play something a little bit different. So this is a set of tunes that's going to be off of my album. Let's see if I can make sure everything's working on this end. Yes. Okay. Do, do, do. So this is a set of tunes that is mostly Scottish uh, slash stuff that I wrote. Um, the first tune is uh, the Dunny Mains, which is a Strathspe from the uh, collection from 1884 from the Fiddler's Companion. Um, the second tune in the set is a jig that I wrote called Wake the Cats. For those of you who know, I have seven cats, so yeah. And then uh, the third tune is Drag Her Round, which is a, a trad Scottish tune, I believe. I can't remember. It's, I think it's, yeah, no, it's a, it's a trad Scottish tune. And the last one is Wolf's Run Reel, which I wrote a while back. sit back a little bit. It's a little hard. Sitting when I play is not ideal, but it will work for now. Thank you. 
All right. That is, uh, yeah, that set, which is currently still being named. I don't even have the name of that set for the album, so we're just finishing that one, me and Natalie, so it's good. That was Thanks lovely, so Joanna. This, Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, My pleasure. It was awesome. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your holidays, and uh, we're going to move directly right on to our next performer, who is Katie Pierce. Hold on one second. Let me Yay! remove one pin, and we're going to go back to gallery view, and we're going to find Katie, Katie, Katie. Where is Katie? There she is. There, there I am. And now you are the pin performer. Yay! How are you, Katie? I'm good. How are you, Rob? Good, good. What do you uh, got to say to these people? Well, just I'm going to do a few tunes. I'm going to start off with an original, and then I'll do uh, two covers. And happy holidays, everyone. It's nice to see you. <laughs> um, this is one that I wrote on a, on a really uh, balmy August evening surrounded by fireflies. Uh, it doesn't have a name because the bird carol has already been taken. So <laughs> this is the other bird carol. That's what I write in August. I don't know. Um, I'm going to switch it over. And yesterday was several people's birthdays, and I, I missed the Zoom, but um, I, I, I decided to play this one because I know Maya likes it so much. So this is my, this is my for Maya song. I've got to switch over to ukulele. Uh, this is a Dar Williams tune. I 
most of the people came in here. I've got a cat who likes participating in music making. Ow. <laughs> he likes that song. He was trying to climb me. Um, I'll finish up with uh, one of my favorites. A Paul Williams tune. So oh. 
Yay! Thank you, Katie. Thanks, Rob, for, in for inviting. <laughs> I am so glad you're able to participate. Okay, we're gonna keep going because we're uh, we're still pretty close to schedule, and we're moving on to. I believe next is yeah, Pete Juris is up next. So let me unpin Katie. And find Pete. Let's see, Ooh, where are you, Peter? There you am. Hello. Why am I having trouble? There you are. Boom. Hi, Pete. Hey, what's going on? Good. How are you and the family? Oh, we're all doing great. Thank you. So uh, for any of you who actually really know me, I'm sure you guys would agree that my favorite type of performance is an interactive performance. One where I can actually connect with my audience. You know, whether I'm doing street performing, comedy magic, hypnosis, any of that, connecting with the audience and with the people I'm working with is always my favorite. So I wanna do a little something. Uh, you see, these days with things being what they are, I can't make that connection in the same way. So I'm gonna do something mentally connecting with someone. Uh, let's see, who looks see? I'll tell you what, Christopher, Christopher Ziragar, you wanna help me? Sure, I'm all in. Uh, awesome, okay, Chris. I'm gonna wait, wait, Pete, let me pin him too so everybody can see him and you at the same time. Fantastic. Okay, Christopher. Add pin. There you are. Okay. You guys can see us both here? Okay. Because I don't see either of us. But Where okay. So here's what we're going to do, Chris. We're going to do a little visualization technique and see if we can make kind of a, a mental connection here. Here's what I want you to do, Chris. I want you to get an image in your head. This can be an image, a uh, a picture, a photograph, a snapshot, anything like that, go ahead, get one in your mind, but it's important that you're very, very vivid with it. You really, really can focus in and see it. You got something in your mind? Yeah. Awesome, all right. Chris, this is gonna start off a little vague, but I'm gonna kind of try and make it more specific in a moment. Um, don't say anything. I'm seeing... I'm getting a very rectangular shape here, Chris. Um, it's, uh, it's three dimension. Oh, whoa, 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 Chris, I'm seeing like a, a house, not a traditional colonial house, more of a ranch style house, right? And, uh, and it's, got, uh, it's got a porch out front. Um, the sun's setting, so it's about five o'clock-ish, 4.35 o'clock. Uh, and on that porch, there's a rocking chair. And in the rocking chair, there's a, there's a little old woman. No, 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 not a woman, a man. There's a man, he's bald on top. He's got bushy hair on the sides. Uh, very simply, Chris, yes or no, is that the image you were thinking of? No. Boom, nailed <laughs> it, yes! <laughs> All right. That's the point in, where people are usually applauding for us, Chris, on how amazing we were. No, 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 I don't take applause after the fact. Just this crowd, Chris, you know how they are. Yeah. I think we got to kind of localize it for them or really, really center it on something a little more specific. Um, Chris, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine you're holding a coin in your hand. Okay? Uh, yeah. A regular... U.S. coin, penny, nickel, dime, quarter. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip it up in the air and catch it. Can you do that for me now? Yeah. Go ahead. Flip it up, catch it, slap it on the back of your hand. And before you take a look at it, this imaginary coin, I don't know if you're in the same room as your mom and dad. Don't let them see it. Okay. Right. You're the only one who has to see this. I want you to take a peek. Take a peek at that. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to... Let me see. Uh, okay. 
You can see that image. Mm -hmm. I think I got it here. Do me a favor, Chris. What was the coin you flipped? What, what denomination? It was a quarter. It was a quarter, okay. And was this, did this land heads or tails? Tails. Tails, a quarter, tails. That's incredible because I picked a quarter. Okay. It was tails. Now, hold on, Chris. Chris, I'll tell you something here. Let me. Chris, people are going to look at that and they're going to think you and I were in cahoots, that we set something up. And some people are even going to go for as wild of an idea as, oh, you know, he's got this special app and it goes voice to text. So he said quarter, he said tails, boom, that's how he did it. We're going to do this one last time, but we're going to do it in a way that no one, we're going to bust them, basically. All right. right. I'm going to make a prediction now. Uh, let's see. Let's say we go this way. Okay. Now, Chris, you take that same coin. You're mm -hmm. going to flip it three times. Each time you're going to look at it and see whether it came up heads or tails. Now, right. to bust those people who, thinks, who think we're doing kind of a voice to text thing here, here's what you're going to do. If it goes heads, just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Tails, you give me a thumbs down. Now, it could be three heads. It could be three tails. It could be any one of those combinations. But make sure you don't say what it is. Okay? Okay. All right, so go ahead, flip it once, take a look, flip it again, take a look, flip it a third time, take a look. Now you've seen it three times, okay? And just for anyone who thinks we're doing something sneaky, that wasn't a trick coin, right? It's, it's not like double-sided heads or double sides. It's a real imaginary coin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Chris, using your hands, tell me what you saw. Mm, mm, mm. So just to be clear, you saw, right? Yes. Are you sure that's what you saw? Yes, I am sure. Well, hold on a second, let me make sure. See, I, clearly that's what I saw. <laughs> no? Tell you what, Chris, one last time. Give me the three, a different three. A different three, okay. Yeah, because I just wrote that in front of everybody. And you got... For the first one. First one was that. Second one is this. Mm-hmm. Third and one. Third one. That's what they were saying about the trick before. That it was... It's a good thing. That's what I said about it, too. Wow. Give Chris a big round of applause. Thanks a lot, everybody. Happy holidays to all of you. And I'm done. You're on mute, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> See, Rob, when people come in so they don't interrupt, we mute them. But you can unmute yourself. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I was busy unpinning everybody so uh, so we could get back to the gallery view. Okay. Hi, latecomers. Welcome back. Welcome to the show. Uh, we are pretty much on schedule at the moment. Yay. So we're going to continue right in. And our next uh, performers... Jingle. 